Hi guys, happy Sunday fun day. And boy, do I have a treat for you. So as promised, apple cheddar bacon muffins. But here's the beauty of it, four grams of carbs. That's four carbs per each one. And they taste so yummy. When I was making these, I was test driving them earlier this morning and my hubby was up in the office and he hollered down, what are you making? I thought I'm gonna diet. It smells so good. So it's so super simple, easy. So I'll be sending out the recipes for everybody, but hurry up and let's get started. So what I did is I took my small batter bowl. If you guys don't have them, you absolutely have to. They last for eternity. And this is the four cup size and we also got the eight cup size. And the cool thing is they're stackable, so they don't take up much room in your kitchen. So, and again, these go in the oven, so you can bake with them in the oven. Now guys, just to share something with you, the lids do not go in the oven, okay? It just doesn't work that way, and they'll all melt down and ruin your food. But the beauty of Pamper Chef has got such a fabulous warranty. If you melt the lids, they'll replace the lids for you. No matter how much you screw up, they take care of you. So I used to always share that 28 years ago at my shows. Uh, so it's a cool thing. So measurements are engraved so they will never wash off in the dishwasher. Super cool, you can't kill these things. So what we're gonna do, so that's our batter bowl, small batter bowl, four cup. Then we got the eight cup one too. And we're just gonna whisk these babies up. So stainless steel. Stainless steel is what you always want to work with because it never rusts. I've had this guy since I started 28 years ago in Pamper Chef and he's still living. And look, he's kind of pretty looking still. Nice and shiny. You know, stainless steel wasn't in style in those days, but now it is. So we're just going to whisk those up. It says add a little bit of salt. So this is our salt and pepper mill. Again, stainless steel, that's what it's all about now. Put the salt in there and um, let me read what is next. So I think we need to add some, and I'm sorry, but I can't see. When you're 65, you can't see close up. So that's okay, I take, uh, it's just me. So let's do this. Miss the eggs, the milk, and the salt. Okay, forgot the milk. So I'm just doing a half version of this, of the recipe because we already had these this morning, so we're double dosing for you. This is especially for my crowd. I have a huge crowd that's over on the West Coast, so they're just starting their breakfast this morning, or the little brunchy. If you don't have these, these easy read measuring cups, here, this is what they do. There's four of them. Where's my little baby? He's over here. The best things in the whole world, and you wanna know why? Is because. You can read from the inside and the outside, but the inside is always good. Great for the older community. So if you need good Mother's Day presents, this is one to send them the easy read measuring cups. So pour that in there and we're just gonna whisk him just a teeny tiny bit, okay? So he looks good. Our whisk is so easy to use that he just does everything triple fold. So let's do this. We took our apple. And um, yes, so you know, you guys that are on your low carb diets, you understand, you can't have fruit, but we're using a half an apple for an entire recipe. That's included in those four carbs per square. So no worries about that. We're gonna take our cheese grater and um, what, this is our coarse one. So if you haven't seen these before, you got to have them. Do not please stop buying the stuff that comes in the bags because every piece of cheese that comes in that bag is coated with the wax. That's what keeps it alive for the year warranty in there. So you see the expiration date? It's a year from when you bought it. We use everything that is right from fresh. So I should be using that, but let me show you this because he's a big chunk. And what I'm doing is I am just grating some fresh extra sharp cheddar. And it said two ounces. So you know what? After 28 years and 3,500 live shows, I sort of know what two ounces is all about. Uh, you like extra cheese, let's give you some more. So this is what you do. Don't have it, you have to have it. So it, you've seen how we used it like that. If you want to put it right over top of a bowl, we could have grated it right in here like we should have done. Shame on Joycey that she didn't do it. And then 
He sits up and you grade it, and then he goes to bed. So, coarse gravy, you gotta have it. I would say just get the set, just get the set so you got the fine and you got the coarse. And you're saving the bunches of money there too, if that's something that you want. If not, that's okay. Joycey doesn't care. She's just trying to help you make life easier during this tough time. So let's go ahead and sprinkle our cheese in there. Okay, we got that in there. And then it told us to put a quarter cup of bacon in there. So I started just chippy chopping him a little bit. And I have bacon cooking right now in the microwave. And I'm going to put it back in there for just a couple of minutes. So if you guys don't have a great pair of scissors, this is what you have to have to have to have. So um, he cuts through everything. I use them inside. I use them outside. No worries, guys. I'm not uh, contaminating anything. Let me get another piece out of here. And so this is two strips of bacon that we're going to add in here. And I did this. I did the bacon in our rich stone so i'm going to show you him in just a little bit but i want to get these guys ready to go in the oven so just slicing them up if you guys want to you can just put them in a baggie and just crimp them up on your own no matter whatever works for you works for me so there we go we got two ounces in there dump that in there and then we're going to take our apple okay and we are going to use our other pea that is my absolute favorite item in town. So I did a little bit ahead of time. I took my apple, cut it in half because it only called for a half an uh, apple. So this is our apple wedger and I went and sliced it right down. So I got the center piece out. So I don't like to deal with seeds. I don't think you guys do either. So that's what I did so far. It came out in eight different wedges and that's it. And then I just cut down right in half. So voila, watch this baby go to town. MFP, if you don't have him, now I call everything by my initials. So it is the manual food processor is what it is. And he is amazing. So most people think of the MFP, the manual food processor. I'm going to use him for my onions and I'm going to chop my onions with him. Oh my gosh. He is good for a thousand other things. So do your chocolates in here. Do your nuts in here. Any, any veggie that there is, that's what you can just take advantage of it. So this is what you're going to do. And remember, I got a 65-year-old hand, so you babies. Now, I want them nice and tiny, so I'm chopping just a little bit smaller. And let me uh, get my little guy over here. As you can see, I cook all the time. So I'm not just one of those people that says she cooks. I really do it. And here we go. We're going to get that. So this goes right back in the dishwasher, and that's how you can clean it. Look what we did to these apples. Oh my gosh. That's the MFP, Manual Food Processor. There ain't nothing like him in the world. So he is absolutely something you guys have to, have to, have to have in your kitchen. You can't live without him. He cuts about 90% of your chopping and cutting time down. So I'm gonna put him over here. Let's throw him to get washed. Remember, dishwasher, everything that you've seen so far, dishwasher. So we're going to mix them up just a little bit. Uh -huh -huh. And it is smelling really good. But here's the angel. Here's the angel. And I don't sell much of this. My kids love it. We love it. And this is, you know, we have a whole line of seasonings, and I don't talk about it a lot. This is our French toast seasoning, okay? So it's for your pancakes, it's for your waffles. And you know, we got that magical um, popcorn maker. And you know, my kitties and my 10 little brown babies, 11 and under, they love it, sweet popcorn. So that's what we do. You know what? We take them to the fancy movie theaters or the wise, where the you know chairs go up and down and up and down and the feet go, but we bring our own food in, so that's okay. We're paying ten dollars a ticket for them to be there, but we sneaky our homemade popcorn in instead of buying the popcorn that they're selling us for fifteen dollars for a bucket. So don't tell anybody I said that. You know, it's I shouldn't be sharing that, but that's how it works. So what we did is we took and we just spritzed a little bit of our trays in our brownie pan, guys. When I send this recipe out, I'm also going to send you a huge amount of recipes for the brownie pan. 
This is the big guy. And now we just came out with a little baby and I absolutely should have him here. Um, I have three of them that I earned and they're sitting downstairs right now. So instead of 12 holes, you have 24 holes with the other brownie. And what I did is I just spritzed, okay? Just a little bit, spritz, and then go ahead and rub it around a little bit. Now you guys know with my stoneware, we never spritz. We don't put oil or things like that. But with the brownie pans, you absolutely want to put a little bit in there because you got these wells and it's got to get down into every little corner, okay? Don't forget that. Um, I also need to remind you, and I'm going to take it out now because I'll forget we have a black one too, but you buy the brownie pans, you got to buy one of these. They're five bucks or six bucks, I think. You can't buy these without this, okay? Because they're the Nylon Mini Spatulas, black and my beautiful aqua. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our large scoop right now, we're gonna scoot them right over here, and we're gonna fill these babies up. Oh my gosh. So scoops, three different sizes. And let, let me show you, because not everybody knows what to do with each of them. One, the medium ones, I think in the dishwasher. But just to give you a highlight on, we're not gonna use them, just wanna show you the different sizes. I was making, wait till you hear this, I was making turkey meatballs yesterday. But I was doing them on uh, the hot side, so buffalo turkey meatballs. So anyhow, medium size, small, this is what you're making for your cookies, two inch cookies, medium, more for your meatballs, and the large. This is gonna fill your cupcake holders. Now, the, min, the baby one also is for your mini round guys, uh, your mini muffin pans. And you know what? I just happen to have one of those here. This is what you would use for your mini muffin pans too. This little guy right there. Don't overdose babies because it's going to be all over the place if you overdose. So we're going to take these and just fill these up and plop these in the oven. One scoop is enough. This is the same way that you would be doing all of your cupcakes, your full size cupcakes or since we have a lot of little guys in our family, uh, we use a lot of mini things. You know what? Because you know what they think about? Oh, I'm getting two, but they don't care if they get two little ones or if they get two big ones. So I'm filling up a little bit more. Now remember, I only did half the recipe because I did the half earlier because remember, breakfast time here is a little bit off of my time schedule with you guys that live over the West Coast. So let's sprinkle some more of this. Remember, French toast seasoning is something you guys to have in your family. So just plop a little bit on him. And remember, four carbs for each one of these squares. And let me tell you, if I only had some television, you would absolutely love it. So guys, we're putting them in. And then I'm going to show you what he looks like when he comes out. So let's heat up. Keep my babies up for a minute. Um, we already did the first level there. So while we're doing that, let me share with you how we're making our bacon. So this is the Ridge Baker, the Stoneware Ridge Baker, okay? And I want to let you know, the beauty of this is for your bacon and for your meatballs. So I just used two pieces of this to put in our, our recipe. So just laid my strips out there, and if you see, this is, and this is good quality bacon. I don't buy the stuff, that's the crappy stuff. But you can see, the bacon lies on the top, the grease is on the bottom. Just like I made those meatballs I was telling you about, those buffalo meatballs last night, they do the same thing. The meatballs lay on the top, the grease is on the bottom. So it's never soaking into your meat. So again, we're all about carbs here today. So great way to save fats and absolutely perfect for you. So just, it's about uh, ready to come out and I'm gonna plate up and show you what we had for breakfast this morning and now we're gonna have it all over again. So this is our apple cheddar bacon muffins with our beautiful bacon. Now, right there, eight carbs for that whole plate. How can you beat that? absolutely to die for with a nice cup of coffee holy lord you got it made
So guys, I'll be sending out this recipe for you. Please comment. Let me know what you like. Please comment. Joycey, you know, send me a link to a catalog. I'll get that out to you right away. And more importantly, I'll show you the link that um, we're running right now. And it's for something very special. You're all fighting the same thing at the same time. That's what it's going to be for. If you guys want it on, just say, oh my gosh, look at all these products. I, I need them all. Well, guys, you know the easy way. It's always there. Just hurry up and just say, Joyce, throw me in for a real quickie uh, catalog show. I call catalog shows, would you call virtuals? You know what? They, business is booming right now. Please take advantage of it. We have to change people's attitudes. We can't have them seeing all the side things that are happening, it's sad things in this world. Let's bring brightness and cheeriness to their lives. So, you know what? Here we go, power tools, you know, all these guys. 50 and 60% off just to host a little $200 show. You want them, let me know. If not, just let me know however I can help you or your organization or fundraisers because Pamper Chef is being so extremely generous right now. I love you guys. Please be safe. Please enjoy your family and uh, share time with your kids. Don't forget, please, please, please like me at Phillips Chef. That's two words. I have great recipes and great kitty ideas coming out each and every day. Blessings to all. Can't wait to hear from you. Comment. Remember, love your bunches. Bye-bye.